In this tutorial is going to be about UV mapping. I will draw some mountainish thing like so. Um, if you select the bucket, this thing, um, you can texture stuff. You have a material list. You can click on this icon to add a new material. Just select anything. I have my own folder for textures. Yeah, I don't need to load anything in because I've already done that for the tutorial. You can just click on them, click on the face, and that will get the texture. You can also scale them up in edit thing. Make it twice as big or however you want. And let's put this on here. Now this looks pretty wrong because it's rotated improperly. So let's texture, um, you right click it, texture, position, then you select the green pin to rotate and you can move it by clicking on it. So you can put it here. Now if you hold Alt, you can copy the position of this face and put it over here. If I would turn edges off now, ah, let's move this to blue axis in a way. You see, this r starts where the other texture ends. If I don't copy it, it will look weird. For example, oh, or is it here? Yeah, here's a cutoff. Now the grass repeats around here, which is not really optimal, but we also got a technique for that. You put it just back on. You can just make a cut, select this texture, go to texture, position, and then you move the red pin and the green pin on this line you just drew. Um, I'm zooming far in, so it's as accurate as I possibly can. If this is slightly off, it will be awful. Um, yeah. This will automatically go in the same line. There will be um, a halfway through thing that will show you where you are at. Now right click, mirror, depending on how your texture looks like, you have to left, right or up, down, I have to up, down, no wait, I don't, I have to left, right, yes. Now if I put edges back off, you see that there's no cut, but it's longer than here. Well, you could do that. Do this again a few times, so the grass is actually on the bottom, but I won't do that because it's time-consuming. Let's just cheat and say it was like this. Um, sometimes you can even just copy this over, but that won't work in our situation. There will be a cut, like you see. The next thing you can do is projecting. Imagine you have something really weird, like, let's just push this randomly in. Really just like anything that is not even. It's hard to do this with SketchUp, because if I would put texture and position, put this here and copy it over, put edges off so you can see it better. And at first you see all these cutoffs at the triangles before I do anything. But if I do as much as I can with this technique, um, it doesn't distort the texture. You can still see some cutoffs and if I try to remove them others get somewhere. So you go to texture, project, you alt click this and then you just click all the other faces. Or alternatively, if you want to texture all faces with the same texture at once, you can hold control and then click.
click. Now it looks pretty weird at this side because in the face you activate the projection on basically it becomes a projector. And since the other faces are in a 90 degree angle it, they will only get one pixel of the texture. Another tool for UV editing is the vertex editor. Let's just draw some geometry to show that off. Let's say we have something like this. Well, this is not the UV mapping part yet. Let's turn this around. Um, I will just texture this nicely. This doesn't belong to what I want to explain right now. Let's say we want a fence around here. Let's make it 5 meters. Control C and Control V to copy this. And then we can just connect them. I already have a fence texture. Oh, let's turn this around. Um, we know it was 5 meters, so we can just do this, position it a bit. Now you will have the problem that it will look like this, and if you just select this and try to turn it properly, like you put the red pin into the edge, but I'm too lazy to do it perfectly fine right now. But let's say we do that, move this onto the edge, you will still have these cutoffs at the sides, obviously. Well, this for once, because it's not even on this thing. Okay, and if you just do this, it will look stupid too. So we just take all this, move it into one line, like. So, copy this texture, put it here, copy this, put it here. Then you are going to make it a component. It's the easiest way. Also saves faces sometimes. I just find it um, less annoying to do it as a component. Now select this, select this, triangulate everything. Otherwise, you might run into a SketchUp error, which creates additional textures and makes it blurry. Uh, activate the vertex editor and just move this down. It will keep the UV mappings, the UV coordinates on the vertices. So that's quite a convenient usage for our vertex editor. It also works for paths on the ground and stuff like that. Um, something that's a bit harder with the vertex editor would be, let's draw something like so, move it up, we don't need these faces so I will delete them, and draw a random shape, um, yeah, let me finish this quickly, I will explain what I want to do then. just by accident when I used the cleaner because they weren't used so let's just load them in quickly <laughs> also the mountainous texture okay Oops. you should always have opacity on 100 otherwise it's just errors now we have no way to do this. We could use the vertex editor, but sometimes there are situations in which it's just too complicated to use the vertex editor. For this we need Blender. We are going to export this. It's just any file. Now open Blender. And put this to UV editing. And put this to texture. Then you go to File, Imports, Wavefront Objects, you select the file and you will have it imported. 
now um, the mouse con the, the camera controls are quite similar to SketchUp. Um, you need the shift button though. It's pretty weird how the camera controls sometimes. It always has something in the focus and by shift you move where the focus is. Now if you right click this and press tab you go into edit mode. You can switch between edit and object mode by pressing tab like you see there. While you are in edit mode put this to face select and this just it's just annoying, I put it off. Now you select all these faces um, by clicking on one, holding shift and selecting everything. Sometimes you will have way too many faces, you just select one, press shift G and image. Um, now you need to find, you will see a few coordinates, looks quite similar to what you have there. It's not an actual representation of the geometry, it's a representation of the vertex, uh, of the UV coordinates in the vertices. Um, you can put this on repeat, it's for someone, for some people it's easier, for me for example. Now if you just click this, hold, uh, press G, you see you will move the coordinates and the texture clamps perfectly fine to the top like so and it will look fine afterwards you can just export it as a wavefront object and then go to file import for this you need a special DLL for SketchUp I will link it in the um, yeah I will show where you have to put it you can just import and put this to uh, yes you need to flip and this has to be whatever you chose as um, in SketchUp. You can see choose different things. I suggest meters. And you have both here. This will be triangulated, but that doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything in the model. When you export it, it will get triangulated anyway. Um, you have to put the plugin to your SketchUp folder, uh, the DLL file to SketchUp, exporters. No importers, and it will be the fluid importer point DLL. I will link it in the description.